Hello and welcome back. So today I have something a bit different. All right, so a while back, I and this is one of my first designs was uh, a booster pedal, and I called it Thunder. Uh, I was inspired. What can I say? Uh, on that day, uh, but I kind of mentioned recently. Uh, good fellas from PCB way, they kind of uh, uh, said they're gonna send me some uh, prototyping uh, uh, PCBs if I wish for free and I said like what the hell why don't I do something crazy so what I thought was uh, I'm gonna do something in surface mount technology but this is not how it all started well how it, it started I'm gonna get to that but these are the PCBs I got from, from them, and thanks fellas, this is great, this, this is actually, these look great, so, and it was easy to order from PCB way and to submit the, the uh, PCB, uh, uh, PCB design, you know, um, so, what I forgot though, I, I forgot to ask for stencil, so, I have, uh, uh, this uh, solder paste, but I couldn't use it. But anyway, I'll get to that. Um, so next time, hopefully, I'll I'll, I'll remember to do this. But w what I tried to do was um, a design a very simple uh, pedal booster that I could make as small as possible and possibly even fit into a, a inside the body of a guitar. And why would you do that? Well, you know what, why not? I got a guitar from a guy, he had it uh, on an attic for 15 years. I said like, look, I'll get it off of your hands so it doesn't end up on a skip. So if I'm going to abuse it, why not N do it now and in, in style, right? So the plan I had was, I just like, how small can I go and can I make it so I can run it off of batteries? And and I wanted to use uh, op amp that is super low uh, power consumption, so I can just plug it in and forget about it. Um, so look, the plan was to design something that would be powered off the CR2032 batteries. So look, it's that's about the size. So. That's fine, but these are like super small, right? So, of course, I struggle to solder this, especially, you know, I have solder uh, air gun and then all of that stuff, and I have uh, solder paste, but <laughs> I didn't order stencil, so it was a bit of a uh, pain in the back to, to do this. Having said that, um, I managed to do this, and it looks, hopefully you can see it looks, half decent like it doesn't look that great if if i go into you know i did a half piss poor job like sorting this but i managed you know uh and you can even see the little up i'm there um i sh i couldn't source this s uh smd um what you call it, uh, this battery um, holder, and I'll find one, and I'll do a, another design of this, and assuming this arrangement stands, why not, you know, like, I'm gonna do a few more um, uh, prototypes. All right, shout out to PCBWA again, but let's see what I kind of, uh, uh, try to do so so the, the main thing was to find a decent op amp that I could use and I was just Messing around trying to find something and I found this OPA 379 OPA 379 uh, Texas Instruments Great one of the goals was to use rail to rail input output Yeah, just think about this if it's rail to rail and I use 3 volt um battery in theory i should get three volts output you know uh peak to peak 
not too shabby for something that is this small. Um, and when you think about it, like the, these, this one has very low uh, power uh, usage. So we are talking about very low power, very low noise. Uh, actually, let me see. Uh, what's the noise on TL072? Uh, TL072, the venerable. Uh, and first point of call, I suppose, for any guitar pedal, I you know. Um, so TL072 has 18 nano volts per whatever this is. Uh, this one is 28 microvolts. I'd say this is different um, units, so I would need to have a look at that in, in whatever that I have to look up. Oh yeah, it's 80 nanovolts versus, okay, so it's, it's a bit, uh, noisier than TL072, for example, but like not by much. Um, but the, the main appeal here is that it has quest quest current of 2.9 microamp. What this means is, you know, like, that really means if, if the battery is uh, 240 milliampere hours, if I calculate correctly, when idle and doing nothing, uh, it should last, battery should last 80,000 hours, right? That's over 3,000 days, that's about nine years. I have this probably totally wrong, so, you know, don't trust what I say, but I'm pretty certain this is going to last, this battery is going to last a long time. Um, so that was, when I was choosing the 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 up amp, that obviously that's one of the uh, uh, points I you know uh, something that I was looking for, um, and now obviously there has to be something uh, uh, something has to give you know so it says it features impressive bandwidth of ninety kilohertz, <laughs> so we are talking about. TL072 has megahertz or whatever it has, so that's not really impressive. But it is impressive for this tiny thing, you know, like this is like freaking tiny and very frugal. So um, I thought this was great, but I wasn't really 100% sure what kind of um, result I'm gonna get. So uh, I also kind of. Uh, hatched my uh, bat a bit with this one, so um, I also use this TLV313, so I ordered that one as well. Same package, which is I hope actually, I, I haven't opened the packaging, so I don't know, should be the same. Um, this has a low uh, quiescent current, if I'm pronouncing this, this right, uh, but it's it's 65 microamps, that's quite a bit more. Uh, and with that, if my calculation is right, you know, like we are talking about 150 hours, uh, 150 days, sorry. So this is still pretty impressive, I think, you know. Uh, here gain bandwidth is, is one megahertz, so, you know, like it, it should, should uh, be able to have a, a higher, uh, uh, bigger gain uh, over the whole uh, audible range for what we need, need it for. Uh, and, you know, like, uh, noise-wise, it's even less noisy than, than, than this one. So, you know, 150 days, not too shabby, you know, it is kind of a... Now, again, this is my back-of-envelope uh, calculation, so it's probably totally wrong, but still, it should last a long time. Um, so here's the, the design, um, it's pretty, pretty simple to, to be honest, like it's, it's just a very simple non-inverting uh, op-amp uh, configuration, I already used that for my, one of my designs, uh, as I said. Um, 
if you look at uh, get, go to my website I'll, I'll post this there uh, but if you look at here you know there are some weird values here and this is what I had uh, handy so you know you can do different things right with this um, but this booster has 10 decibel uh, boost 3 point something 3.3 uh, the thing is like um, if, if, if you remember the, the bandwidth of this uh, op amp is 90 kilohertz so you know I wanted to keep it lower but I also want to keep it you know within uh, 3 volt output uh, so let me wire everything up see if this works uh, how it sounds and uh, in later videos I'm just gonna go and start abusing my guitar I mean I will not recommend that obviously uh, but you know what I bought it so I can do this thing so let's see what we get right I hope I got this right. Okay, so um, I forgot to say I, I did this a bit little trick with battery. So only if uh, input is plugged in, you know, or in this case, it's going to be output. I, I suppose um, when it's plugged in, it's only engaged. Maybe not the best idea, noise wise. But look, uh, let's roll with this. Um, So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use my amp here just so we hear the sound. I'm just gonna plug in any guitar that I have uh, handy. Not necessarily the one I'm going to abuse. Okay, it's not working, so I just need to uh, get this. It's working, it's a bit noisy and I'll have a look at that uh, at some stage, but you know, I suppose it's impressive for something this small, right? Um, anyway, stay tuned for me playing with, I'm gonna use this other op amp, uh, that TL, what was the name, TLV313, I'm gonna uh, uh, solder that one next time and, and try that as well and see what I get. Um, so stay tuned, there's going to be lots of uh, guitar abuse, so, you know, who doesn't like to see that, even if you don't want to do it at home, don't do it at home. Alright, until next time.